I grew up really close to lots of ski hills, so I thought that I would probably be a ski lift operator. My dad, though, worked in mining, and so I was very familiar with it my whole life. And uh, he suggested to me one day that I'm sort of a little lost. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And he said, uh, you know, get a career in, in engineering and I'll help you get a, a mining job. And so I did just that. I went to college at the University of Western Ontario. I pursued a Bachelor of Applied Geoscience. And then after that, I pursued a Master's in Civil and Environmental Engineering. I applied at Kennecott Utah Copper. I started off as a project engineer working in the open pit. Then I eventually started to get into permitting and approvals. And then an opportunity came up at a new mine site, the Eagle Mine in Michigan. And what was unique about it was it was the first mining project to go through Michigan's new stringent Part 632 regulations for mines that also contain a sulfide component to them. It was really interesting figuring them out, um, working with the regulators, getting the feedback from local communities and stakeholders, and we navigated all of that. The mine's been running and in operation for a number of years now, and it's really a success. Started my career at the end of 2010 at Resolution Copper. One of the most innovative things that I feel really good about is the Tribal Monitor Program. So through um, consultation on our project with tribes, the United States Forest Service had told us that you know, tribes that are consulting want to have um, a voice in your project and they want to work with you on the ground now before we make a decision. And so we went to Westland and we said, we'd like to do this. Can you help us? New minds are controversial and there's people that are very passionate on both sides of, of, of those arguments and being willing to reach out and develop a tribal monitoring program, for example, and to use that to help gather information and make sure that people that care about that landscape are involved, I think is very important. Permitting's really not, not, not about checking boxes and it's really about an engagement and a dialogue. Um, and how do we shape our projects so that it again meets the needs of communities, it meets the business need, and we can overall come up with something that's mutually beneficial with a win-win for all. Vicki, congratulations on this achievement. The Medal of Merit from the Mining Foundation is a very prestigious award and one that's well earned. I wish I could be there in person tonight to help you celebrate this honor, but on behalf of all of us from Westland, congratulations.